here we have the GX215. This is awesome UAV's offering into the D-Quad category. Now, I've had a closer inspection and the way the, the D aluminium uprights mount onto the board and the whole frame itself is completely different, so it's their own, their own design. Uh, they've got this electroplated fiberglass impregnation option, which gives you quite a bit of color without having to go the vinyl sticker route which I think can end up very messy after a few crashes. Um, now this is also a resurrection of the F4 V5 Pro board. This is the replacement I got sent back after my I uh, had bad experiences with my first two. Um, the other one was sent to Dan Border, competition winner. So yet to um, see his build. I'm also running Betaflight 3.2.0 with Omnibus F4 firmware. Now with the F4 V5 Pro, I had a little few, uh, a few bugging issues with just uh, the OSD GUI not showing up and not allowing me to select anything. So just learning what um, what values to give the OSD settings in CLI was good enough. That wasn't too hard. I've also, instead of soldering the XD60 to the tab, I've put a cap there, 470 microfarad cap and also just routed the power lines through the actual frame so my XD60 can now take a lot of bashing without putting any pressure on the board. I've also used old ZMR um, action camera mount vibration dampeners. They just slip straight over the stand, the plastic standoffs and give me about 2 mil of um, Soft mounting. I've also got little B 30 amp 32 bit ESCs. This is all running on Betaflight 3.2.0. Now the GX215 is a stretch X layout, and so far it's copped quite a bashing. The only real damage is a little bit of electroplating chipping off. As you can see, it's copped quite a hit. A few bits of bark still stuck in there. A couple of hard notches from hitting the concrete on the D, the aluminium, but no biggie, no dents. Quite a strong quad. You can get this on Banggood right now. Just search GX-215 and it should come up. All right, cut the flat footage.